you guys so Paris and Shay here Christmas is approaching and so as I was going through today I said I wanted to show y'all some cheap ways to decorate without breaking your bank without you know if you just you want to decorate but you want it to be affordable I'm gonna give you the tips that I use because we try to decorate on a budget and um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show y'all how I decorate on a budget because it's important I know that we see so much on especially YouTube Instagram I guess you say TikTok with so much Christmas decor and um, the amount of things that we buy but I'm gonna give you some pointers on how to minimize in some areas and still make it festive so we will walk through and I will show you what I have done so let's we jumping right into it and let's just do it we're gonna start in we're gonna start in my bedroom. First things first, I have these as decor with or without Christmas. I added these red ribbons around. Um, they are velvet, so it gives it more of a Christmas type vibe feel and it still makes it festive. I ordered these ribbons off of Amazon, which they were, I wanna say $7.99, I'm not 100% sure, but I will link them so that way you can um, take a look at them yourself I would have liked I've actually purchased thicker ones from I want to say it was Target y'all but I kept these ones on here just because um they still look good so that was one way I made my bedroom more festive the thing I did is I decorated the ledge of our window very very cheap but still looks very very festive so I'm hit the light so you can see you can see there is just a row of regular Christmas lights I added this white garland that my mom actually bought last year along with these white trees um, and then we just throw some bulbs so at nighttime it's very festive it gives off a nice little Christmassy vibe of course you can update this I actually have some little red ribbons I think I'm going to add in there um, just to make it a teach more Christmassy but I like that it's neutral it goes with our bedroom and it's perfect and this was all of I really want to say six dollars these little trees came from Target last year and like I said we've been you know how you stack up on your Christmas bulbs had those for years didn't have to buy anything new here and it's just gives the bedroom a nice glow at night time so the next thing I did was I added on these velvet ribbons over our lights in the bathroom it gives it a festive touch real Christmassy you can fix them make them bigger smaller however you see fit once again these are the same ribbons from Amazon so cheap on both sides so it looks like I don't know just nice velvet ribbon just gives it a nice Christmas touch y'all so then very simple for the nice stands if you don't want to have to like redo your whole bedroom I add just a nice gold Christmas tree on top of our layer of books which is here course as usual decor and then the Christmas just puts a nice cute modern goat touch and these trees I got from at home they were seven dollars so and there's one on my side and there's one on my husband's side so very cheap the next thing I want to highlight really fast is I put garlands on all of the doors for the most part there's some I missed over but this is such a festive touch I got this one from Walmart last year so I didn't have to buy a new one. Lights up, has batteries in the back, but the other doors just have plain, cheap, basic garlands. So, garland here, there's a garland here, which is Bray's bedroom garland. We just threw a stocking on there, made hers silver. When we come down, there's two more garlands here. So, you have doors with garlands, very festive, very cheap. Um, in our guest bedroom, we have just this colorful little Christmas tree there's no bulbs on it it's just we need to actually like fluff this out y'all cuz <laughs> this tree is kind of on the struggle bus but it's cute we just put this little tree topper this tree was actually in berets from last year and I got it from Walmart last year for hmm. I don't remember the cost but I know it's cheap and you know just somewhere nice to throw up a tree that you already have Here's the next tree um, this one is the one 
Did you take this off my tree? No. Did I put this on here? Yeah. I don't think I did that. We had it on there, I think. Mm-mm. This is the next tree. This one also came from Walmart last year. Um, this one was in my room last year, so we switched out the colorful one, put in the guest room, put this one in Bray's room. It's small, it's simple. Um, there's no bulbs on here once again because it comes with these cones and these cranberries and like this sparkle glitter leaves you could say. So there's no need to put like a bunch of bulbs on it because it's already decorated. And see, as you can see, it's already shimmering. So um, this, this is just to dump to go all out, but Bray has her own vibe in here. When she turns on her lights and stuff, it gives it even more something, something. So this is just an idea if you have like a kid's room and she'll turn on her galaxy light and she has a Christmas light. So the next thing we did, we put these garlands in. We do this every year. We got these garlands from, I want to say Home Depot. Home Depot last year. They weren't that expensive. It came with like a roll of them. And I, no, I think we ordered extra off Amazon. Of course, we just wrapped Christmas lights around and we put them in each doorway. So there's one in the dining room, one in my office, and the kitchen way over there. Go the is in the main entryways. So it's just like a sparkle, uh, real Christmas. It gives it real Christmassy, um, even just with the garlands by itself. In this bowl, I added these bulbs, these big bulbs we had, um, added in some random bulbs in this bowl and it looks super festive we did the same thing with the lights added the velvet um, ribbon and then that just makes it super festive so this is what this looks like over here from table we just added the so these are the bigger bigger velvet bowls I was telling you about I got this from Target which I was gonna rewrap all the candles instead of the little thin ones but I think it's fine because it gives this more of a grand look so I just wrapped this around our pot that sits on the dining room table of course this is one of my favorites this tree is in my office I ordered this tree skirt from Amazon and I believe I got it in the medium size I'm trying to link as much stuff as I can um, we got the tree from Walmart no at home at home or Walmart last year. I'm not sure which one. These bulbs are new. These are Martha Stewart from Home Goods. These little ghost rhinestones from Target out the with the Christmas stuff, and I think they were only three dollars. And I just like sprinkled those in. But all of the rest of the bulbs are from Home Goods. Most, most of them are the Martha Stewart collection. And then some of them are, I, I don't know, they're just from Home Goods. Like, these ones are really cute. They're like a clear bulb with some glitter on them. So it gives it more like a girly type vibe. And then with the tool uh, tree skirt, I thought this came out really cute. I was gonna add some more bulbs, but I think it's good for now, so. Um, just keep it as simple as possible. I did not put anything at the top yet, and I don't know if I'm going to, just to be honest. It makes it like that. I actually have this ornament that one of my friends gave me, um, Miss Piggy. She gave it to me like two years ago, I think. So thank you, Miss Piggy. And it's still super pretty. So this is the office tree. The touch I added was this gingerbread house and this pink Christmas tree. And that's all that we're working with in the office. So when you look at my office, this is all the Christmas decor that you get, but it's it's enough, you know? You don't have to overdo it so much. We have these uh, magazines, and you make it look super festive by wrapping around this red ribbon. Same ribbon I got from Amazon. And then I just added these trees from Target, which is from last year. I have my black Santa, which is super old. Um, I think I got this from, I really want to say Walmart years ago. So I don't know if they have another one, but hot cocoa signs. I think the other side says um, cookies with Santa. 
really cheap. You wrap around some little sparkly green garland, throw in these little Christmas presents. Um, and then of course I threw in red pillows to make it more Christmassy into our accent chairs. And it just looks cute, y'all. On our mantle, we just have these deers. Actually, my sister gave me these and she had them for years. I think she got them from at home. I'm really not sure. Um, I added these twinkle lights and then everyone has a stocking. So kept it real simple, real easy. The bottom of the fireplace, we have these two sides I got from at, no, I got these from Ross last year. So there's one here and then there's one here. And then once again, we just have a little deer from Target, I believe. And then just sprinkle some little bulbs in there. So it makes it look real festive. So the grand finale is the Christmas tree, which we got our Christmas tree from at home last year. And this is a tree we got from at home. And I think it may be 10 feet or it might be 12 feet. I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> I'll have to look at the box and we threw the box away when we put it up this last time. We went with traditional, uh oh. We went, we went with traditional colors. So red, green, gold. Cause it just fits the fun sway of our living room. Makes it super cozy, super nice. Um, we could have did like a, you know how the vibe is like creams and you know, more neutral Christmas colors. Um, this doesn't have any flocked branches on it. It's literally just a basic green tree, which is what I love about it. And I love that we can keep actually the basic Christmas colors because that's just, I don't know, basic Christmas colors are just so nostalgic to me. So anyways, I love it. And it's of course the focal point when you walk into our living room and our tree is just there. And um, I think we did a good job. Brett actually decorated most of this tree. I can say by herself, but she did a lot of it. So kudos to her. And then the hubs helped wrap the ribbon around, which he acted like no. took forever. <laughs> but we pulled it together um, and it worked out. Of course, these are all recycled Christmas bulbs. So um, if I come up close, I could show y'all some of them. Um, these little stars we got from, they're these glittery stars, let me focus. We got these from, I want to say Walmart last year and we just sprinkled these throughout the tree. Um, these pretty jeweled uh, bulbs come from Ross last year. Um, these jeweled ones come from Ross and these come from Ross, but all the other basic ones came from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. I've had this star for years, and it's actually supposed to light up. Oh, but we need to connect the star. The star is actually supposed to be, it's supposed to light up, we just didn't connect it. So I need to figure out how to connect it. Actually, I'll do that right now, I should've did that, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, here's a tree, and then we mix in our gifts at the bottom, and that's it y'all we also added these ribbons onto our um vases so very christmasy and it has just pompous grass in it so i forgot i almost forgot the kitchen um our kitchen table we just wrapped the ribbon around our our um green stems brought in some lighting here and then um we have little trees here we have Christmas lights back here that give it a nice glow at nighttime, and then some more trees here. So, um, first thing I did was I put red Oreos in here. That is super fest festive, isn't it? So, it just gives it a nice glow with the lights behind it with the red Oreos in my dessert tray. So, this is what that looks like. Uh, Christmas touches, I added this tray, which was in the dining room. I put winter candy apple candle and um, hand soap here. Even though we have a hand soap pump here, but I was like, oh, this would be cute just to keep a candle on the hand soap there. And let's not start with Christmas. So that's what we did. All right, and we're back. So I hope the video wasn't too all over the place. It was super impromptu, but I was like, let me just 
show the simple and easy way you can still have a festive home without going, you know, super over budget. Everything, like I said, was Walmart, Home Goods, Amazon, Target. Um, and a lot of the trees, the little trees that you see, those came from the dollar spot and they have even better ones this year. So I've seen they have little trees that um, light up in the dollar spot. And I think they're like three to five dollars. Um, the cheap little garlands were not expensive because I didn't go get the super expensive ones you can get from like where people get in their garlands like I haven't checked them out at Hobby Lobby but they said Hobby Lobby does have some and I haven't checked the pricing because I just when I go in there I was in there yesterday I didn't want to tip myself to buy nothing else so I was like let me not even go check I have garlands they work um Kirkland's I think it's Kirkland's and um I'm pretty sure those ones are pricier than the ones on Amazon so the key advice I can give you is to use what you have and make it work because it's Christmas I feel like with Christmas decor I feel like it's honestly hard to go wrong because it's Christmas like everything's so cute so fun festive and then do what you like so whatever color you want to do do that color if you want to be traditional if you want to be modern style if you want to be glitz and glam hey whatever works for you but that is the petted holiday home hope that video wasn't too all over the place um i tried to get everything the best that i can i didn't want to bore you guys by staying on one thing for too long so it's just kind of a quick glance of just what we walk through and see during the holiday season um we'll probably add more before christmas i mean as the months progress as the months as the weeks progress because it's literally only november 26th so we still have a whole nother month if i see little things um of course i'll update you guys here and show you how i updated items in the home but as of right now i feel content with my christmas decor i don't feel like i need to add much more only thing i said that i want to get was a room for my a tree for my room that's the only thing i said i want to get because we usually always have a christmas tree in here and like i said we gave ours to bray so we don't have a tree but that's the only thing i feel like i would another bigger purchase i would get but as of right now i feel content even if we don't get one so yeah but i hope that was helpful and insightful that you don't break the bank and decorate how you please and just be happy that's the most important part so um i'm gonna end this video here um and i appreciate you guys for watching and hope your holidays and your christmas decor come out exactly how you plan but thank y'all for watching <laughs>